Hello, so we're back and this time we have a beast to review. So here we have the Geekom GT1 Mega Mini PC having the Intel Ultra Series. This one in particular is Ultra 9 uh, Intel CPU, which has been launched last year. Why I'm saying uh, this mini PC is a beast? We're going to review this PC. We have uh, Ultra 9 185H with 32 gig of RAM and 2 terabytes of uh, M2 drive. Now let's open and have a look inside. And there it is. Quite light. Ta-da! 19 volts classic uh, round pin charger, HDMI, USB-C, and you have two LAN ports, 2.5 gig each. SD card reader, pretty nice. More USBs and also a headphone jack port. Now this is coming with Wi-Fi 7 and DDR5 RAM memory. And we have a power adapter, 6.2 amps. We have the power cable, we have a, a Visa mount and a HDMI cable. Now, why this CPU is so special? We have 16 cores and 5.1 gigahertz uh, turbo clock. And we're gonna review against the 14900K to see the performance of this CPU. But I'm pretty sure it's, it's about there. Also, the Intel uh, Ultra CPU series uh, are coming with Arc graphics. Now, the power is plugged in. Let me plug the HDMI. HDMI is plugged in. This mini PC supports up to four 8K displays. Pressing the power button and it's coming on. And we have picture. Let me quickly set up the PC coming with Windows 11. Now let's run the Benchmade R15, which is the most aggressive benchmark. If I'm telling you just numbers, you can't really compare. So let's run the R15, the single core on uh, this mini PC. Then let's run it on a 14900K. So you can compare the CPUs. Now the CPU is running the test on a single core, five gigahertz core. We have a decent power consumption and, of course, the temperatures are going up. The mini PCs are same like laptops. 100 degrees is not overheating. 100 degrees is the normal uh, way they work. Remember, you know, the mini PC or laptops, they don't have like bit heat sinks. So uh, that's the reason why the clock is controlled by the temperature and on the second by the power. Let's wait for the test to finish. Already I run the test and I'm quite impressed. And we have 262 points. Now if I run the test on 14900K and the test is finished, we got 315 points versus 262. Now of course it's no point comparing the multi-core because here we have less cores. But let's run the R23, you know, just to see the, the score. Nearly finished. And we've got 18,524. Now let's run a SSD speed test. And we've got like 5 gig with 4.3 per second. Quite a fast uh, SSD. Let's open and see what we have inside. I'm very curious to see how it's built. We have a few screws under the rubber cover. And the back cover, it's out. Okay, that's nice. So we have two full-size uh, Wi-Fi antenna. Now the metal cover is removed and we have a crucial uh, M2 uh, SSD. PCI Express 4.0, but also you can use 5.0. And also RAM memory 32 gig. Under the M2 drive we have uh, a BIOS battery. It's a coin battery. Also we have an extra slot for... Uh, a small size uh, SSD and the biochip is right there. Now let's go deeper. Now all four screws are out and now we have access to the CPU. And that's the mini PC. Wow, this is a large fan. Check here. Cooling is very important. Let's have a look at the CPU. It's anything what can be improved here. Hmm? Now check here, yeah? Check here. 
This is nice. So you have two heat, uh, heat pipes over the CPU. Then you have one heat pipe over the, um, the CPU power supplies. Proper nice. Let's take out the heat sink. And the heat sink, it's out. And now you can see how our Intel Ultra CPU is looking like. Now here we have a bunch of DRMOS, but I'm more curious to see how this uh, PC it will perform with liquid metal. Now let's quickly clean the, the thermal paste. Now the thermal paste is clean, so check that the CPU. Uh, the capsule is kind of split. Now liquid metal. And it's bonding easily with the CPU. And a little bit on the heatsink. Perfect. So what do you think now about another round of benchmark? Okay, so the heatsink is back. Now everything is back on place. Let's check one more time. R15 single core. Let's test one more time. The temperatures right now are... Yeah. About 70 degrees, which uh, is more than decent. Let's wait for the for the benchmark. And we've got, yeah, what we got? 281 points. Remember the 4900K was like 315? I mean, this is such a small difference. It's like a full, like a full tower desktop uh, CPU compared with this one. And now you will ask, okay, Sony, but what about Intel R graphics? Can we game on this mini PC? Let's see. Now check here, yeah, this is Diablo 4. On the bottom of the screen, you can see the FPS is like a 60 steady FPS. I mean, even playing the game, I will get the same, uh, the same FPS. I mean, this is insane. You can play, uh, actually, Diablo 4 on a mini PC. Probably this is the, probably this is the future. I mean, very soon we're going to play games on, uh, on mini PCs. I didn't expect Intel Arc to perform uh, that good. Unbelievable. I didn't expect that. Okay, so there you have it. This is the review of this beautiful machine. This is a very powerful mini PC with nearly the performance of a normal uh, desktop PC. It's just, you know, a perfect machine for like an office or even games like we seen Diablo 4, which this is unexpected. Now I'm going to stop now. Hopefully you enjoy the review. Just please check the description of this video and there you can find 5% discount if you are looking to buy this kind of uh, mini PC. Now, this is the second mini PC I'm reviewing from uh, Geekom and uh, only top-notch uh, machines like this one. I still don't get it. How can you get a score that close to like a normal desktop PC? Absolutely beautiful. So, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. Check the links in the description and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.